Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit. You are now listening to the podcast, episode 26, on August 18th, 2023. These topics are very relevant in business, and whenever you decide to listen to them, they're going to be just as beneficial as the day that we podcast, okay? So thank you so much for being here, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Please hit the like button on your way uh, listening to the podcast so that the algorithms can show that um, people are interested in this information. I do thank all my new subscribers and those who comment and like these videos. Welcome. So today, I'm your host, Darina Shine, and today what we're going to do is talk about a topic I feel is very relevant to the nonprofit, for-profit, sole proprietor sector. Whenever we're looking at business development in any way, shape, or form, this topic is going to be valuable. So if you're just at the concept of thinking about starting a business or you have been in full fledged business for years. This is a good topic that I think we should share today. And the topic is titled how to be transparent in a professional setting when starting your business as an entrepreneur. So I thought that was very important. I think that that is a topic that we all should think about. How transparent are we? Are we doing the right actions in our business in order to make sure that we are dotting all of our I's and crossing all of our T's? You know, a lot of times we wake up to concepts that we never thought we would be um, going up against. However, if we're ready for them, when they show up, we'll be ready for them, you know, so, so transparency is um, for both the employee, but well, in my case, the independent contractor and the customer, okay, or the client. And it's about how we're building our brand, how we're making sense towards the rewards and practices of our businesses, how we're engaging the community in how we're running our business, and just being clear. And it's for all level of organization. And this is more important than any other time in business. You know, morality, ethics, principles, values are extremely important right now in business because so many people are starting their businesses. And the ones with the longevity, the ones who stay in the game the longest, not the one who has the brightest business plan that gets up and starts a business and then shows up and then within a year they're gone. It's the ones with the longevity that continues to keep getting the the education, continue to keep getting the certification and the uh, training necessary to work with individuals and people in general. So um, it is straightforward. Transparency is straightforward um, processes of being open, honest, and just a part of how the company operates. How does it work? And we're just now getting into that in our fourth year of business. And it's ironic because we did have the information, but I'm seeing it all come together now as a business developer for the Youngstown Community Center. All of these concepts and ideas were written in our bylaws, yet now they're beginning to be exposed. They're beginning to be shown that this is how we relate to this situation. This is how we relate to that situation. Because the longer you're in business, the longer you're going to have, the more you're going to have individuals coming to you with different scenarios, situations, problems, and, you know, success, you know. So transparent individuals who run their organization is going to share information Um, how they perform. They're going to talk about how much money they make. They're going to talk about the internal processes and, and pricing and business values, how they, how they price their items, how we price our, our items when it comes to 
donations, how we, we price our items when it comes to, you know, um, pricing for square footage of the building, uh, for independent contractors. These are very important and, and, and how we're doing it across the board. So why is transparency important in business? There's many reasons why it's important. Uh, transparency is truthfulness. It's the level of what the organization is actually doing and helping as far as the people are concerned. So at the Operation Hope 22 house for our men, we have um, individuals that we've supported to, you know, get them from their basic levels to moving them, moving into the next level in life. Some people start off and then they're stuck, you know, so we got to get them out of that, that stickiness and move them into what they're going to do next. And in doing that, what takes place is we're able to help more people. We're help, we're able to engage individuals in how they're going to restore restoration, give restoration for their lives to move them from the second chance into the greater chance, okay? Um, also, transparency is about how good the customer is satisfied. As long as my client understands that I am not being biased, that I am not being, um, you know, defaming, I'm not being humiliating, um, with the circumstance, as long as they know that the business development that is taking place is the most important thing for their business as well as ours, um, anything else that's personal, that is not part of being transparent. You know, um, taking things personal, taking things emotional is not part of the game. And um, training, training on you know, how to handle emotions in business is what we're going to be getting into next. Um, transparency just provides that balance that everything is going to be okay. So if I ha say have a program where I'm going to introduce uh, 15 youth to an opportunity to do web coding and designing, I am going to make sure that the web coders who are coming in are getting background check. They're, they're good to be with the individual group of students. I'm going to um, organize and patternize the age groups to where each group feels comfortable within that setting. I'm going to also make sure that I am available. You know, one thing about it growing up, um, I was in Girl Scouts and I remember going to Girl Scouts and um, we had these team leaders who were supposed to be watching over what we were doing. And some of the girls who were in the camp, they bullied, they disrespected, they did things that I wasn't used to seeing happen. So when I went to look for someone to see if someone was watching all of this, guess what? The teen peers were involved in their own teen situations with their boyfriends who were at the job, who, you know, gossip and different things like that. So we were not as supervised as we should have been. And anything could have happened at that particular moment. So that snapshot just came to mind when it comes down to making sure that, you know, the people that we embrace Contractors, especially that come in and out, those individuals must be um, at least put on file that they're supportive to, you know, making sure that the programs run effectively. And then the more transparent we can be with investors about what the situation is in our business, there have we we get donors, we get sponsors, we get you know individuals who invest. And one thing about it is we let them know this is the outcome. This is what we see for the future. And yes, that futuristic 
vision should be positive. It should be successful. However, in this present moment, this is all we have to start with. So being honest and talking to your investors and sharing with them, if you invest in me, don't give them a pipe dream. Don't tell them you're going to make them a million dollars in the first year when you don't even know where your first hundred dollars is, is, is actually coming from. So four confirms nothing could be more important than the relationship between entrepreneurs and investors. Investors have what entrepreneurs need, their capital, the know-how. But on the other hand, entrepreneurs have what investors want. And that is the vehicle that offers the potential for a return. And these separate entities share common and joint interest in growth of the business. And the more transparent we are in our business, I guarantee you the more financial um, opportunities we'll have. This is how we get you know, donors to trust and believe in us when there is um, access to getting property to help individuals, especially women, especially those with narcissistic relationships coming from out of state, trying to get a new life. And we're giving them that opportunity to heal um, in a safe environment. So these are things that I wanted to talk about in Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 26. So we talked today about transparency. We talked today about what a transparency is defined as and how an entrepreneur can move themselves successfully through the portal of examining the next moves of their career based on transparency. That also includes communication. Transparency and communication is a final thing that I want to share today. And that is vital. No matter how hard, you know, it is to share with individuals who are not being cooperative in this in the setting with individuals who are part of the contract um, agency. People must learn that, you know, holding them accountable is what we do. So I thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, and taking the information of this podcast and using it in your everyday life. You can use it even in the areas of everyday living. How are you going to take care of your financial, you know, uh, obligations? Are you going to pay? What what are you going to pay first? What are you going to, why is it important to pay that bill before you pay all other bills? Most times people can go back to the cell phone. Everyone needs a lifeline. So that lifeline is that cell phone. So are you going to pay that cell phone bill before you go to the mall and get you the newest Nikes that just came out? You know, these are things that you want to think about before you make the decisions to just jump and do anything and being transparent with yourself is the most important thing you can do because if you're true to self, you'll always be true to others. Thank you. Peace. And we'll see you next time.